Top of the first, Pascac Valley pitcher Nicole Schneider gets a strikeout the first of the game. Sparta was straight a runner on first. Bottom first, Pascac Valley has a runner on second. Sparta pitcher Sam Griner to strike out to end the inning. Bottom second, Sam Griner with a 1-2-3 inning. The strikeout ends the bottom half of the second. Bottom third, another 1-2-3 inning for Griner. Still no score in this game. Top of the fourth, Nicole Schneider matching Griner pitch for pitch. Sparta goes down 1-2-3. Bottom four, game still scoreless. Pascac Valley with a runner on second, two outs. Sparta pitcher Sam Greiner handles the comebacker to work out of the jam. Bottom six, Melissa Messina, the first batter to make solid contact in this game. She hits a shot in the gap for a leadoff triple. A big chance for Pascac Valley. Now second and third, two outs for Pascac Valley. Sam Greiner induces the ground out to work out of the jam. Bottom nine we go, extra innings. Sparta turns a big 4-4-3 double play to keep this game scoreless, ladies and gentlemen, at Pascac Valley. Bottom ten we go, Pascac Valley can win the game right here. That's going to be a home run. No, Casey Kresbaugh with a nice catch of the fence. Still scoreless. That was a catch by Kresbaugh. She kept her eye on the ball, and she made the catch. All right, starting of a tenth, each team gets a runner on second. Runner on third now for Sparta, but Pascac Valley turns a big 3-4-2 double play to end the inning. Bottom of the 11th, runner on second for Pascac Valley. Jen Arcella with the base hit, the runner slides in safely. In dramatic fashion, Pascac Valley beats Sparta at Pascac Valley. The final score one to nothing in the North Jersey Section 1 Group 3 semifinals. I, I was really tense the whole game. That was a great pitcher. Honestly, probably one of the best pitchers we've seen this season. So I really stayed relaxed. Um, I was really over anxious my first couple at bats, so I had to just relax and hit my pitch, and I did. So I could have done. That was a heck of a play at the end. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better play. Bang, bang, bang. Four people involved came down to them, but uh, heck of a game. Just talk about the season that you guys did this year. How the things they accomplished, getting to the sectional uh, semifinal coach. Well, they had a great season. Uh, they ended up 23-6. and six. They won the national division in the end, Jack 12-1. and one. Uh, Kids have been playing great ball. Uh, I mean, I was gone for probably a third, two-thirds of the season. Uh, from what I've seen, I mean, we have a tremendous team. I mean, we played an outstanding team today. We gave them everything they could take, and what they gave us everything we could take. It uh, was a great game. Sam Griner was amazing today. Oh, Sam's outstanding. Uh, Meg Casey did a great job behind the plate. Uh, defensively, we made some fantastic plays today. It was an outstanding game. Uh, nobody was really hitting the ball with any consistency, but they got a hit at the right time, and uh, the relay came in, the play was at home, and that happens.